This is the fifth year of DemoFest. We've again sold out with several hundred people attending and it's a roughly even split between industry and academia, bringing six uh, institutions together to work collaboratively rather than competing with each other has been a really positive experience. It's giving us the, the seed corn for the next generation of computer scientists. I think it's, it's a really exciting environment to bring the academics and the, the industrial world together. I'm showing a piece of work we're doing with the Scottish 10 project which consists of Historic Scotland and Glasgow University and ourselves and it's basically producing a kind of um, prototype uh, of interactivity so it's a digital guide for various sites and the site that we've chosen as a test case is Rosalind Chapel. So this is a, a prototype of the iPad app so you can see the chapel there and so we can fly around it so it's quite realistic it's taken from the laser scans and then from ground photography as well but we can also go down into the chapel and see the famous carvings so I'll just do that now fly down from the ceiling. Obviously there's the um, historical uh, archaeological skills and, uh, of Historic Scotland. Uh, Glasgow uh, have brought some of their scanning technologies and their animation technologies. What we bring to it is interaction design and also advanced uh, virtual interaction and rendering techniques for these huge amounts of data. And we're trying to provide social scientists with a data mining tool uh, specifically Twitter data mining and um, previously we've worked with The Guardian uh, trying to collect data on the riots that happened not so long ago and they have used our tool and create a visualization uh, such as this. So here you can see uh, the people who are against or supporting the riots which is represented by green or red and this gives a whole picture about uh, what people are, their opinions are. We're making it easier for social scientists because not all social scientists are programmers. And with the technology changes, uh, twi and especially Twitter, they, they change their technology very often. So we are providing a service for them to be able to collect data. And also the visualization part, we are also interested in that. Instead of creating like hundreds of bar charts to, to say what's most occurrence, uh, what occurs most often, we would have all kinds of network graphs or heat maps to help social scientists pick out the patterns within the data. Well, this is a project that I'm working on right now. It's a European project, actually, that Harriet Watt and Edinburgh University are both partners on. And our goal is to build a robot bartender. But the, the point is not um, to do things like pouring and serving drinks and so on. The, the real um, underlying goal here is that this robot should be able to deal with dynamic social situations. If you want a robot to be out in the world interacting with people, you can't avoid sending social signals. So the idea is to explicitly model that. So to, to not just give the robots, you know, here's your task, go off and do your task, ignoring what else is happening with the people around you, but really do your task, but deal, do it in the context of other people who are going to be sending you signals and who you need to send the right signals to. So it's really about social robotics. It also has applications to other things like, for example, reception desks or any sort, other sort of situation where there's a, a, a robot or an, any a sort of artificial agent who needs to deal with multiple people in sort of constantly changing sort of social situations, which is probably just about any social situation, actually. So Harriet Watt and Edinburgh are, are two of the partners. Harriet Watt, uh, we do a lot of machine learning for interactive systems. Whereas Edinburgh, they're working on two aspects of the project, which is the natural language processing. They have a very strong natural language processing group and also the AI planning um, decision maker. That's, they also have strong people in that area. And then we have European partners. So the people in Munich, they actually have the physical robots and they know all about robot manipulation and so on. We have partners in Crete, in Greece, that are doing the vision. Um, and they have a lot of experience with doing this sort of person tracking in a dynamic sort of situation. And then we also have partners at the University of Bielefeld in Germany who are really, they're really into human-human data collection. All these different European partners all have their own strengths and it's really good they can sort of come together to put this whole thing together. Okay, well SIXA is a serious investment by Scotland in the future of academia and computing science. So we've had 30 new academic staff funded, 80 PhD students funded, and we've been really happy with the quality of both student and staff that we brought in.